We're having a baby. Don't cry, it's okay. The baby's not even here yet. No. Just excited. Oh, there we go. It's not ready. It's not ready. <laughs> We're having a baby. Should we do a room tour? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, this isn't exactly how we wanted to start the video either. You know? Okay. We were kind of hoping that we could start it as we were leaving the house to come here for the baby, but we had her due date checkup today, and the baby's coming out today, I think. Yeah. Well, it's starting to. So. What do you what were you attracted to? Two centimeters? Yeah. Or dilated to? Yeah. But everything's more intense. So contractions are getting stronger and more frequent. You're gonna make the monitor go crazy. <laughs> gonna laugh at me. I know. Because I keep moving it. Well, I guess we could do a little room tour. Yeah. Huh? Let's, let's show the view. Because I think we got a pretty good view. Um, it's pretty nice. You can see the dome. And. I'm gonna hand the camera over because. Contraction time? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's set this up a little somewhere. Where we're gonna set it up. <laughs> you just punched the baby. We <sighs> gotta figure out where we're gonna set it up. I think right there. That's a good angle. Yeah. Or even I can just like. Hold it like this. I don't think you're gonna hold it like that. It doesn't go like this and go like. <gasps> yeah, because you're gonna have to hold me. I know. Like, just gonna Everybody says I'm gonna faint, but I'm not gonna faint. Well, if the camera drops, that's why. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so baby's bed. This is where the this is where the baby's gonna come when it's born. Look at the little stuff in the skull. It's so little. Nice little heat lamp underneath. TV, watching Friends right now. Bathroom's in there. That's Dad's bed. What? I think it's a pretty big room. I mean, I don't know. I've never been. What's that? Labor and delivery. Bigger than any hospital bed that I've been in, you know? Yeah, I feel like you get like, such special treatment when you're pregnant. Absolutely. We got in here quick. Well, we did. Relatively quick. I think we waited like two hours, maybe, to get here. Yeah. There's testing and blood drawn. Wait, and 10, yeah, right? I just checked my You just checked your IV as a watch. That was solid. <sighs> we got here at... I think we got here at like 11, probably. Don't you think? Yeah, it's a lot. Now it's, it's 5.10. Wow. First of all, Friday, June 10th. Yeah. It's a good date for a uh, baby to be born. It is, but I just feel like it's going to not be today. It's going to be tomorrow. You think it's going to be tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, I would love... I, no, let's manifest it. I think it's going to be today. 
Well, let's see how long it takes this baby. Over and out. Over and out for now. Keep you posted. All right, guys, update time. It is now 6.30. Um, contractions are a lot more severe, uh, more frequent. Um, the doctor came in and checked dilation, and it's still only at two centimeters, so. And I just filled out paperwork to get induced, if maybe. Medically and mechanically, she said. But we're hoping that yes. labor just moves along smoothly. And we don't need that. But if we gotta go that route, we'll go. Yep. You know? Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta keep you and the baby safe, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So just a little update. We did have food. Uh, we had French toast. Well, I had French toast. Hospital food, obviously. We also had a pizza with mushrooms on it, which I thought was a questionable choice at a hospital, but she went for it anyway. Uh, she's trying to stay walking around the room. It helps to walk. Yeah. I'm tired, so I like want to lay down. Yeah. Then... She starts to sleep and take a nap, and then right into a contraction yeah. and that wakes her up pretty fast so but doesn't she look beautiful look at that look at that we wait we wait but I'll give you another update soon like I said right now it's 6.30 so hopefully um the doctors come in and check in, not too soon, but hopefully we have more answers about dilation. And, uh, we'll come back and give you guys more updates. So it is two minutes to eight right now. Uh, contractions are terrible. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> they suck. She's hurting. Yeah. But she's still doing good. And I've just been getting like chills. Like I feel like I'm really cold and then I have a contraction and then I'm really, really, really hot. So. Yeah. But we're doing all right. Yep. Oh, it's not about me. It's about her. <laughs> She's doing good. She's a champion. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? So we don't know what we're having. There's some theories behind what we are having. But I figure this is a good time to do the last guess on what the baby's going to be. Hold on. Contraction time. Is that six centimeters? She, they came in and they broke her water. Yes. Um, she's at six centimeters dilated and they're coming to get an epidural soon. Mm -hmm. I think she's ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. She's doing so good and she's so excited. And so excited. <laughs> Well, after a long and stressful night, I'm sure you can hear that, but <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> Set it. Perfect. So 
<laughs> she weighed seven pounds, seven ounces. We're still waiting on the length. I don't know the exact time because it was hectic. It was hectic. It was rough. Mom did have to go through a C-section. Both mom and baby are very healthy. And that's all that matters. Look how perfect she is already. Oh my god. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. <laughs> Little ASMR for you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's very calm and then she'll randomly start screaming. She might not need to feed again, but yeah. she's perfect. She's perfect. Very healthy. I know I was around five. I know it was around five in the morning because I woke up at about 4.30. And when I woke up, the doctors said, uh, you got to have a talk. And Dr. Bailey finally said that it was time for a seat section. Yeah. Sailor's but heart rate kept going down. With every contraction. With every contraction, and my contractions were like five to six minutes apart, and it just kept going down every time. So, but there were actually like a lot of complications. I had a random fever. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Random fever. Then. I wasn't dilating after six centimeters, so I had to get on Pitocin. And, Pitocin and then I got an epidural. And then they were like, you're probably gonna not have to be induced because you're already at six centimeters. And then after several hours, it was a surprise. You need a C-section. Right. We forgot to do a last gender guess. And you know what I was going to say? We were doing it, but I think we got interrupted by a doctor. I was going to say girl. You were going to say girl? I was going to say girl. Were you? But it's I, still... I was set on boy, but I think that was mom. She's playing on me. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Look at how freaking adorable she is. Wait. But, oh, yeah. Hair reveal. Oof. Look at those locks. Oh my lord. With all the reflux I had, I was like, this girl or boy better come out with a lot of hair. And she did. She's just chilling. Section, but once we got in there, she did great. I don't think I did great. I think you did. I don't you did I knock did a doctor great. off of their stool. Like, I'm not joking you. Your hands went like this, and you knocked the doctor off the stool. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> I think you did great. I think you did great. They don't make C-sections look as um, tough as they are. Right? They make I it thought, seem like you're numb, I I like you don't there, know like, it's happening. Yeah, no. You felt it. I felt it. You felt everything. it. Yeah. You felt it. But maybe it's also because it wasn't planned. But even for feeling it, you did good. You did. I think you did great. And then when I went and saw Sailor at the table, you were good. You were calm. Except for you did almost throw up again. And then yeah. they said, not the time. Yes, yes. So she was like, I was like dry heaving. And she was like, not the time to dry heave. I'm like stitching up your uterus. Pretty <laughs> sure. Vomiting isn't involuntary. Like, you can't control that, right? I can't control that. <laughs> Are you listening to me complain? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, we'll have more updates when they give us a yeah. link to and everything. Pancakes, and so I'm gonna oh, yeah. I have breakfast is coming. She can finally eat. She held down the ice chips good. 
So they said she could eat. Yeah. The epidural's gone. So the epidural's she gone. Eat. I can feel my legs again. Yeah. Let me see those toes wiggle. Let me see those toes wiggle. I'll fix your socks for you in a second. Oh yeah, this is the new room. It switches to a different room. We got a nice little wagon to bring all of our stuff in. It's kind of dark in here right now, but... You okay with me right now? Yep. Okay. Well, I'll be back. Over and out, the three of us. The three of us. The three, the three. of us. The three. We're well, four when we get home because yeah. of Millie, but... Great. She's perfect. One more view. One more look. Bye. She's waving. Wave bye. Bye. This is where we've been overnight. It's a labor and delivery room, but due to staffing reasons, we've been here, which is fine. Got beautiful flowers. And the helipad is right there, which is kind of cool. Lunch is here. Dinner is a uh, lunch. This is a bathroom. Nothing fancy. Let's see, I got a sandwich and a salad. Turkey? Turkey. Turkey sandwich. I wonder why it says insulin. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Are you diabetic now? Nope. Huh? Let's we'll see how this is. Chocolate milk. Mmm. Chocolate milk. Like the good old days. Eh? And I had some coffee today, which is great because no reflux. But all the reflux was worth it because. Mmm. -hmm.